Hey guys, this is Tyler of Renegade GK. So today we're gonna take a look at finger saves. So we're not really gonna discuss the pros and cons of whether you should or you shouldn't wear them. That'll, that'll come later in another video. But instead, the major takeaway from today's video is the fact that not all finger saves are made the same. All right, so we're gonna touch base on really the three distinct types of finger saves that are out there. All right, primarily you have a single molded plastic finger save, which we'll show you in a minute. And then you also have a two mold uh, plastic with basically two pieces of molded plastic uh, that combine to make the one spine. Again, we'll show you. And then last but not least, you have a composite style, which is actually what we use on the Renegade gloves. Um, so we'll take you through that. And then later on, we're actually gonna do a strength test to kind of show you visually the differences between them. All right, so first and foremost, we have that single molded plastic. So. The one thing that you need to know with all these finger saves down uh, below me here are they are from brands that everyone would know. Uh, we won't necessarily tell you where they are from or whose they are, but, but again, these are commonly used in gloves that are currently out there that people are wearing. You know, this single molded plastic, pretty decent. Uh, not, I mean, it's not horrible with the negative tension that you put here. All right, positive, it's all right. A little bit of limit as you, you know, positively stretch that finger forward, but it's, it's decent. The only issue that I have and concern with this is, you know, in doing some testing uh, with these finger safe spines that are single molded and sometimes the two pieces that you have the two, pa two plastic molds, you know, when those particular uh, molds break and give like we had here, it's pretty much done. And if you don't have a removable finger save glove, when this happens, that pair of gloves is essentially gone. All right, you, you, you really wouldn't want to continue to use that uh, because you probably would end up injuring yourself with the loose plastic in there. So uh, that's kind of the downside of that single molded. It's not necessarily as strong when it comes to that. Any torque, any twist, uh, you, might, you might potentially do what we have here, which is just a compromise in the plastic. All right, the second one is the two piece. Um, so we've got a two, two examples here of the two piece in the black and then the red down here. You know, as you see with these, uh, visually they look pretty similar, but the two piece is actually on the back of the finger save spine. Uh, you actually can, can just remove uh, a piece of that finger save just like that. All right, so that's that two piece uh, with the two piece mold plastic. You know, when we talk about resistance, uh, this is not very good, and, and you definitely don't want to see this. This would basically be on the back of the finger, so we're pulling back. I mean, you know, uh, that's just not a lot of negative protection. And, and unfortunately, too, there's quite a bit of resistance in the positive direction, which, again, those are just uh, things that we don't want to have with finger safe spines. Uh, the same thing in this. Uh, with the two piece, definitely not as strong. I mean, that, that represents the strength um, uh, of the spine, which is not great. And that's the negative direction, just to be clear. All right. So, I mean, you look at a lot of players that are catching a ball, a, an average size five ball coming at about 30 miles an hour. You're looking at, um, at that speed, about 22 pounds of force on a player's hand. So we want that strength. Uh, this is an example of a Renegade GK spine, but it's an example of the composite style. Uh, so believe it or not, this plastic and all these little ribs of plastic are individually compressed together. Uh, what that offers is uh, essentially a finger safe spine that you have maximum positive flexion forward. So this is forward direction, like you're catching a ball. Uh, but then you actually can see here, there's not any space. When you go negative, all right, and we'll show you again in the test just so we kind of have the comparison. There's not a lot of give negatively. So it's extremely flexible forward, not a lot of negative give there on this. The beautiful thing about this composite is it's a little bit lighter weight, but you don't, you don't really lose anything in terms of the lightweight nature. Max flexion, that's exactly what you want a finger safe spine, all right? So uh, what we want to do now is we're going to get over to just show you kind of a, a strength test, all right? All right, so to show you guys uh, kind of the resistance and the strength of a lot of these finger safes we just talked about, uh, we obviously have created an incredibly scientifically sophisticated scenario here. Uh, but no, nonetheless, we wanted to make sure that you could visualize and see that, uh, you know, obviously I wasn't bending one more than the other. That's really important. So we figured that we would create, again, a super advanced environment to prove the different types of finger safes and the strength. So. 
with our trusty weight here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna test them. So you have over here the white, the back, we'll test first. That's that single plastic mold. Uh, then we'll go to the, the double mold plastic and then we also have a, uh, the, the other red double molded and then the composite style. So again, this is about a two, three pound weight. Just to show you guys, uh, we're gonna test the fingertip here, see if we can get this held up. So obviously, as you see, really no way that's gonna hold that. All right, so we'll go on to the double molded. Again, not gonna hold it. All right, for sake of not letting it drop too much. So the first, the single and the double mold, they're not really, they don't have that strength, that negative strength. Here's another one of the doubles. Yeah, again, it's just not holding on to it there. Even if I work down a little bit lower, it's not gonna do it. So for the single and the double, they're not holding that weight, which is obviously a concern. We wanna see that strength, especially when you're just talking two, three pounds. All right, so then you have the composite. Now this is on all Renegade gloves, all right, towards the end. So there you go, right? That's that advantage of that composite structure. So um, the brilliant thing about uh, the Renegade gloves, in, in particular, the the fact with the finger saves, we made the decision, and not a lot of manufacturers do this, we made the decision to go ahead and use the same finger saves on all of our gloves, right? Many times on the lower end gloves with the lower price points, you're gonna have these cheaper finger saves that really offer no protection. You're basically just paying for the word, to be honest with you. So we really made the decision as a brand that really cares about the strength of the unit as far as the finger saves go in the gloves to use the high end on all Renegade gloves, which offers you the maximum protection and also maximum flexibility in terms of a positive standpoint. So we hope this kind of helps you guys understand a little bit more about finger saves and obviously it gets back to our primary point, which is all finger saves are definitely not made equally. All right, we look forward to more questions and if you guys have any thoughts or any other questions uh, as it relates to finger saves or any other goalkeeping topic, we'll try to tackle that in the next video. Uh, and we'll look forward to talking to you guys soon. All right, so we just did the finger save video. Here I come back. Ryan's made some contraption out of uh, another tape gun I see. So Ryan seemed to think that this finger save, the, the standard RGK finger save, will now hold two tape guns. So I don't know that that's gonna work. But who knows? So let's give it a shot. Uh, uh, hey! All right. All right, I'm going to go find more tape guns now, all right? <laughs>